All right. All right, all right. Just want to make sure. Wait for everything to get loaded. Get things started. We're going to have a great time. Hello, everybody. We are accepting our letter into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I can easily say I'm excited. Ooh, that's the mind thing. Um, I should give myself corn rolls. That'd be funny as hell. Uh. Oh. Yeah. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. All right, we're going to go with that. That's what we're going with. One more. be a wizard. Let us begin our wonderful journey. Oh, ooh, already starting shit off. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be working <coughs> with when you get your own. Oh, so you eventually we will get I our own. Working with me oh. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some fetigoers in the West End. Wizards are funny. Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. 
feel like, ages I, since I've been to the feel like I sound like a much deeper oh, voice to Harry rocks. Potter than you, Radcliffe. I mush away into nothingness. Nothing pulls this. Oh, well, actually, you know, thrustles. Ooh, another dark wizard. This is Lord. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. <coughs> of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not mm. only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> mm, another a Ministry hat, huh? Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, Ooh, I believe Ooh, a dragon. he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> Such she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, <clears throat> wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. <coughs> to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. Mm. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Ooh. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh shit! He's already dead. Such an opening. skills <clears throat> are you all right you're hurt perhaps a bit take this it's Wigan world potion that stuff will write you in a second down to heal all right 
so I got three more of those. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... You got what eaten by a drug. What the that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? A An port item key? Enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Oh, man. Port keys, I love them. <clears throat> I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. Yes, let's look I around. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Well, obviously for some evil shit. What can I say? Ooh! My goodness! How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. We will do what we can. Mind your step. Ooh. Now I have free roam. Free reign, everybody. Oh, and I can jump too? What? I want to cast spells. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. <coughs> ancient magic? Yes. How ancient are we talking? A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Mm. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. This is also true. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Probably. Oh, there's the path down below. This way. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Come on, let's just get so, into the fighting shit. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. That's how we get a man named you know who into power. Power. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus huh? on the center. Oh wow, I have to do some light tapping? Okay. Alright. Okay. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every card. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, okay, this is kind of cool. I don't know what spell this is, but I don't care. It's my whip. I whip bitches. <laughs> oh, sorry, bird. I didn't mean to scare you. Ah, oh. oh, up there. <clears throat> Oh, see, I tried doing that and it wouldn't let me do that. How stupid. When can we sprint? I know we. Ooh, a chest. 
I got 61 galleons off that. Whoo! Yes, I will be ref. Yes, I know the Harry Potter series. We're close now. And also, it's just also, ahead. if any people try to show up here and uh, you know, ban me or whatever, please try me. Try me. <clears throat> I am all for everyone's rights to be whatever they want. Been a fan of Harry Potter forever. Reparo! It's kind of interesting how a Reparo spell can fix all of this, yet no one in the movies has thought about that. Magic, man. Magic. Almost there! Break things. I break things. Swish, swish, swish. 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 Emma built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Well, we're definitely out of place. I'll tell you that much. Minimap shows your surroundings. I said, "All right, I shall." All right. Oh, what's this over here? I already see something that's out of place. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Yeah. Well, doesn't explain. It. Who he is? <clears throat> you donut? Swish, swish. I love this. I love this. This is the inside of crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Blocking all kinds of shit. Clearly, my spells aren't doing this? shit for a bit. Professor Fig. What is this? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're in Green Gods, aren't we? Hello? Yes, we are. <clears throat> it can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Goblins. They're adorable. Adorably scary. Wait, call Welcome out Goblin Slayer. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. 
I don't trust Stay this. Close. Goblins are uh, tr tricky bugger little buggers. <clears throat> After you. Let's just look at those menacing hands. So menacing. Uh, keep your hands inside the cars if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> I want to lose them. That way they can call me Stumpy. I love being called Stumpy. Because I leave them stumped. How many volts are there in Greenhouse? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Quite the service indeed. You want to take a breath? A what? Oh, take a breath. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Yeah, I remember Experience that. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Ooh. Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Quite the imagery. I will give it that. I love this game. Already. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, I don't trust him either. He's a he's a punk ass looking motherfucker. He be eyeballing us. Professor, mm -hmm. the old band that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Because I wonder why. I wonder what kind of secret wizard stuff they have. Filled with all kinds of enchantments and stuff that can hurt. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Uh -oh. Makes it all the less more trusting. Thank you for your help. Mm, Goblin's up to no good. I don't trust him. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy. Yep, see? See? Can't trust these little bastards. Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Closer and try again. 
No. Is there a thing here? There's gotta be a thing here to investigate and see. Revelio. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the pool key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Ooh. Lead the way. Don't, don't mind, mind if, if I, I do. do. Ooh. Lumos. Oh. This is no ordinary vault. Rebellion. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay, Stay close. Can you teach them with us? disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Well, no, of course not. Can't, can't do that in Gringotts. Goblins don't like thieves. They're thieves themselves. That's why we must get the Goblin Slayer! Skull fuck the shit out of a goblin. I see something up ahead. What is it? Rebellion! That glow again, but on the floor. On the floor? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should pass Lumos. Woohoo! I finally learned Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh. Uh oh. Look out! Potato! Professor Fig! Luke, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I shall follow it. Ah, 
That's where they're leading me. Hello again. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Lumos. Interesting. already. There we go. I found. They told me to sprint. Ooh, what's this? <clears throat> yes, tell me where Professor Fig is. I must find him. It is of great importance. Suspicious here. We're just gonna drink from the Penaceve. This is interesting. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Ooh. 
Memories. Good old pen of good old pen of thieves and memory viewing again. Stick my face in the bowl. For the creating of this place. Rookwood. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. <coughs> we have done what we can. So some deep, deep stuff. <coughs> That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that <coughs> Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Well done. And you, it seems are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one's ever going to visit Ragamorak. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Nope. Not trust it one bit. Uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a... Ooh. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Magic wielding well, goblins? But this is scary. Your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. 
I've never seen so powerful there's a, a goblin. There's a Isn't brown mess in my pants. Totally unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Ooh. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh. And we have arrived, ladies and gentlemen, to Hogwarts Witchcraft and Wizardry. God, it's so beautiful. <sighs> so glorious. <sighs> I'm tearing up, guys. This is gloriously beautiful. So, I already know what house I'm going to pick, because I'm a loser, and I'm a lame, and we're going to go with the Gryffindor house, because we're bold, we're noble, but we also want to hear what the Sorting Hat has to say first, Let's see what he tells us. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? No. I just want to say no to everything. Phineas Nigellus Black. Ooh. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. A black. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Great hole doesn't seem as big. Hey, little Harry Weasley. Potter. We've one more to be sorted. Ooh. Well, you're just in time. Have a seat. Oh, a fucking Weasley. Ooh. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm yeah. looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. 
Mm. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Craziness. A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Mm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. Mm -hmm. And your loyalty to a friend <laughs> has your me. arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. No. Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. Yes. 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 Better be Gryffindor. Oh yeah. Where I belong. <clears throat> so the great table of the uh, where the professors are. There's not many tables. Let's well, see. Look at that. They can kind of like make references to freaking Harry Potter a little bit. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice so, nice well, see, so nice As to see you, Weasley. Mistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right ah, way. so a Weasley descendant was deputy headmistress. I wonder why none of the other Weasleys decided to take upon that. Most uncommon to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. That lady changed quite a bit. Well done. I mean, it is Go over a hundred years before. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Cool. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I won't. I'm going to be running around the halls, strutting about. <laughs> Flicking my wand like I got no other control. Remember, swish and flick and up the squirts go. <laughs> Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Well, yeah, you slept like a rock. Welcome to Hogwarts. Oh, man. Now, which way is the common room? Down. No. Clearly, I'm wrong. I thought upstairs led to the girls' dormitory. Rebellion. Wow, I must be dumb.
No, nope. I was right. Oh. Different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Be talking shit. I'll beat you. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. A little room, everyone. Oh, what did I do wrong this time? Potato. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it mm -hmm. true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. No, no, I mean, she was trying trouble. to make a rabbit come out of I've you, stupid the fuck. charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry, we'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. That's right. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I will. It's like talking to mom. Being asked, oh honey, how was in school today? Uh, yeah, mom, it was good. It was she great. I would really like some potato riot. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Gareth Weasley, huh? Huh? Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. There's already a chick passed out on the couch. In the carriage. Too much butterbeer. Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. <laughs> Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Oh. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Mm. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. So, so Matilda well. Weasley, huh? And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Ooh. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. So it might boost the healings of the, uh, well, it was nice meeting you, healing Gareth. potion Thank you for mixed the with the butterbeer. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. If that's the case, then that's just going to make it stronger as we heal up. <sighs> Don't fall off this time, Nelly. Nelly. <laughs> Who does Nelly think she is, anyway? Don't fall off this if time, Nelly. Nelly you can't defend me. Anything for attention. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what if hello. you slipped and fell and with don't the right me. momentum you I find it fall right in the fire? Point of view now and again. Put things <clears throat> in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> it involved a lot of butterbeer. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. Crikey! It's thrilling! 
and also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor, and Hogwarts for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. We're trying I'm, fast at Hogwarts. I'm almost like the boy who lived. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. Ta-ta. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? Nope, I, I haven't explored enough. Stay for a long time. Can't believe <clears> I'm <throat> here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Until now, next year. In light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. <laughs> oh shit, that's OWLs. right. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Mm. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Mm. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay, I will. I'll be sure to learn all kinds of naughty bad things. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Of Walk course. With me and we shall put it to the test. This way. No, don't tell me what to do. The guide will give you opportunities to practice <gasps> your magic. Look at, look at, guys, look at, perceive, perceive. Oh, <laughs> this dude runs a muck all over here, Hogwarts. <laughs> Peeves. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also I love you, buddy. Do keep up. No. I want to hang out with Peeves. He's the homie. He's what made Hogwarts. <laughs> ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Ravelio and we'll see what the guide says. The wizard Barofio, famed for his brain elixir, as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. Open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Oh, damn, there's gonna be all things all over the place. What's that? Ooh, I have no to be time level to one. waste. You've classes to attend. Shut the fuck up. I have all the time to waste. There are things to want to loot, to gather. Become the richest and most powerful wizard of all ah, of Hogwarts. Good timing. 
Are we? Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Ooh! Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. So, they f traveling around by flute powder. Interesting. <laughs> and here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Hmm. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Really now. There's something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Never seen be this. For now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. Ooh, yay! And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Good. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to <laughs> the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My it was an adventure. Is there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Mm-hmm. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, just the basics. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Deathwing was very Enough pretty. Chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank Please you. do. Because I do not want to get lost and get turned into a Good pocket watch. Today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. Mm, and thanks. see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Please, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, talk to it's you, old man. you, Professor. And you. <sighs> I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and a They use such, like, it was right proper to words to yourself English. for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility, flexibility. with your time than she would approve of. Oh. And she may feel obliged I to am pretty flexible. With the headmaster. I can't touch my toes though. Left between us. <laughs> Understood, Professor. Good. Hands, knees, and ankles. 
I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Oh, I see Speaking I of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Sure. I'll fold it and have a look. <laughs> Okay. Mm, defense against the dark arts. I want to go play with that. The map is enchanted to help you find your Always way. Always been my favorite. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Ooh, you my own wand. He's an exceptional Ooh. craftsman and a good friend. Really? I shall reach out so we get to see a young Ollivander. Mysterious locket. Ooh. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. Ooh. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Pay attention to what now? Who what? What? Okay, so I can hit up to track to cast a charm track my class. I rather want to go to defense against the dark arts first. Just because. Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Mm. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wild. So that's who dragon death. that is, or skeleton. Today skeleton we will is. a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. <laughs> oh, I like the uh, wand tricks that we have to do to learn spells. Here we go. Oh, Levioso has been learned. Levioso. Very nice. I wonder if we're rewarded house now, points too. Let's try something a little larger. <coughs> mm. I love this old lady already. Defense against. I love this defense against Dark Arts teacher. I feel like she doesn't Let die like all the other ones. The basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise. <laughs> now, well done. Good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, 
basic cost and protego you may begin no Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. There you go. Complications. Let me listen. I do enjoy a lively duel. Oh, I knocked him off. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> you didn't even touch me, homeboy. I like that little smug look I have. Spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. I will, A Professor. Duel is one thing, I will use my sphincter as best I can. Or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Who's that? Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. No, it's not. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that <laughs> duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was how I whooped that ass, boy. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't I expect call you Swallow to be so deft with a wand. Sebastian again, Swallow. <laughs> perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh no, it wasn't. <laughs> I dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh? Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned, huh? Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. I want my cloak of invisibility. Clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Cloak of invisibility. Here we go. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Hey, you somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Um, actual skill. It's Look skill. Look and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. We'll, we'll see, see what happens. happens. Till next time. See you later, Swallows. How nice to see you, my young Ooh. friend. Ooh. Oh no. It's telling me to go down this way. way. Alright. All right. I, I shall, shall listen to the compass. compass. There's so many things to explore. Ooh. I wonder if I can learn Reparo. If I can learn Reparo, I can beat the shit out of that fucking skeleton and repair it all I want. Up one. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. 
So, so guys, we're, we're just, just gonna, gonna only do maybe a couple, couple more quests, get some here. stuff done, and I, I might, might stop for the night. night. There's an open seat here. Oh! Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Natty, huh? Professor Ronan, yet? <coughs> Sounds like you're a little matty. Shall we begin? No. Uh, welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, Not quite, quite a 20, 20 professor. professor. remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Akio uh, is being learned already. Like we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Yo! I love it! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Oh, oh my. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I like the spunk of this charm, Professor. It's not the same as Professor, uh... Flitwick. There we go. Professor Flitwick. But you know, he's still just as cool. He's got more wit. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? Oh yeah, Quidditch! So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test? Right? All right! <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? Well, tell me the rules. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your... That's it! Now, uh, the thing happens to the best of us. Very good! Okay, I got the point of Very it now. Good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Oh, this. All right. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes. No. Who goes first? Watch this. What the fuck, this bitch? Akio. 
Ooh, you like them skills, homegirl. Oh, no, why did I let go? That's so dumb. Let us see this. Oh, you can hit the balls? Yes. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Quite impressive. Can't fuck with me, homie. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Interesting how, Professor? <laughs> oh! I think we are well past interesting at this point. It's very interesting oh, indeed. Enough chatter. Focus I don't want to focus up, bitch. Need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. I already settled it, homie. I outplayed the girl. Phew. You know what? I'll be comfortable and I'll still get in the same spot. Just to make things a little spicy, eh? That is how it's done. Ooh. Well done. Here we go. Just a touch. You got lucky, bitch. Very good, both of you. Well done. <laughs> oh, I'm so salty. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Oh, took me oh. weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Ooh, you've been transferred here too, huh? That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first <clears arrived. throat> I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. I wonder where Mother that's from. An offer to teach divination here. Ooh. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were oh, halfway Uganda. at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Damn. It never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Because it is home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here. Wagadu. Ah, Wagadu. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. No, I'll wait. wait I'll make him wait. Time. I'll make him wait. I want to make him wait. Of course. Just because. You can use Akio and humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on the clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. 
One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. This is true. Course, knowledge is you gain knowledge from losing. Mr. Nye <laughs> is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Well, it's year five. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. I will not butter your sphincter. Do not ask me of such things, old man. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Well, no shit! Hello there. You're the new student, aren't Hello. you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Ooh. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I did. You want to hold my wand? <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> my brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well... Better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <clears throat> well, I'm just talented in such a way. Revelio. Well, there certainly is something upstairs. The werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? And by the, end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy. Oh. Telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. Hmm. Protego. Revelio. Levioso. Oh. There's so many things to explore. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Divination class. Divination, yeah, divination. Whatever the fuck it's called, I don't care. This game is so amazing. What are you up to now? Revelio.
Thought that did something. Revelio. Where? Where? You bitch. What's well, just revealing it to me right here? Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. figure that out. Oh, come on, I'm level one. We will figure this out. Rebellion. How inconvenient travel was before I invented Quite the interesting things. Collected quite a few things. No 
what. I think we'll go there. We'll go do that instead. Uh, I'll pass, Peeves. How nice to see you, my young friend. <sighs> I am. Thoroughly enjoying the crap out of this. Ooh, what the heck? What part of the castle is this? I love it. <clears throat> Revelio. Strange shit you come up with, homeboy. Finally inside of a jar. But he failed us did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon and so she screamed. You fucking peeves, man. No, it wasn't. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Levioso. Sebastian yeah, you can. told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels. Such a young club child, clubs. too. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I whooped that bitch's ass. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. I imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does crossbonds work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Uh, you said the magic of word. Course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So... Care to step into the ring? Get me in the Hell ring. yeah! Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Oh, of course they're gonna begin. We'll make you regret signing up. No, you won't. I don't know if that said Anna Kendrick right now or not. All right. <laughs> Man, oh man, this is dope. Oh, victory. 
Not on that round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. I plan on Count it. me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. What's my reward? Hope to see you back here again. My reward. Little turd fuck. There's three one dueling quests. Hey. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. <sighs> I feel sorry for your next opponent. I don't. They want pain. I'll give them pain. I am pain. I was molded by the darkness. Born in it. Oh, sorry. We're not playing Batman. We're playing Harry Potter. Um... Fuck. Caught me on caught me on caught me off guard, guys. Don't worry about it. Revelio. Okay, so clearly there's some hidden shit. I like that I can stop and pet kitties. Kitty cats. Ow. We will begin class here. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, how so? Huh? I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? <coughs> Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Oh, great. What am I, Hermione? Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, right. regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've uh. managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. 
Uh, I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. So I'd am like I. I'd you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I will I'm do Natty. Natty. Excellent choice. Swallow so doesn't I sound very fun right now. Students. He swallows a lot. <laughs> She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's <laughs> undesirables en route. I am not Rookwood. sorry, ladies and the gentlemen. The rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Oh, he's Once a harlot. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. <sighs> You hold a hard bargain there, Miss Weasley. Rebellion. things in this classroom that oh I think I found it yep there it is see see I'm not wasting my time just splunging around you know I kind of did <laughs> stop at the kitty it was just too cute Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Ooh. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. I love this spell. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. Okay. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Fuck, bitch. What are the assignments? This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Oh, okay. This is going to be an interesting game here, guys. Really interesting. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Yes, Remember we shall. to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. You yes, got sir. it, Professor. My Remember, wand is vigor. Wand is a and ready of your magic. I have learned and cast Reparo. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Revelio. Repairer. Oh. Nice 
nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Okay. I do apologize that I will be making all kinds of noises like this. It is truly fascinating. in at the present moment, the headmaster would be sure to tell him how very much he was fine. Tracking some quests. Ooh, hang on. I have gear. I change my gear, guys. Ooh. It has no, uh, it has no value. This does, however. I love my hat. Oh my god, I love this. I freaking love this. I can have my hood on or off. What? Guys. <sighs> Guys. I'm losing my mind. Oh, 
There's so much to do. <clears throat> and I'm loving every minute of it. Oh, suits of armor is taught. Rebellion. Yes. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. You Professor stood there forever. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. I do. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. Of course. And, and to load up on candy. <clears throat> Good. Shall we set off? Candy. I'm going to give you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. Hogsmeade. If you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure everybody likes and if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps a lot. It goes a long way. Matter of fact, I just like the stream right now. It's free. You don't have to do a damn thing. Just click the thumbs up. Okay, I was guys. glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbeer in the village. Oh, did you hear about the I love butterbeer. Have Wilson you actually had butterbeer, guys? Perfect. Not that bad. Throw some peppermint schnapps in there. No. Some butterscotch schnapps in there. Mm. Fuego. Uh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose Ancient you would not call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Uh -huh. Revelio. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. No. <laughs> no, I definitely want I really want to see oh, it in Christmas. I do not mind the cold beautiful. so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Well, yeah, you grew up in Uganda. Like, oh, isn't wait, Uganda desert most of the time? I often see lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. The plants make noises, what? That is rather interesting. Look! From the forbidden forest! Hippogriffs! I wonder if something wow. started there. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. So oh, beautiful. We have hippogriffs here. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. <coughs> France hoof and sugarfoot. That's the that, forbidden guys. forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, yeah, it does. Meet over the crest, past that ruin. I want to explore that ruin. Man, look at that country hit side. Oh my god, look at this, guys. Take a minute.
There's the Quidditch pitch over there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. God, I love this weird world. I would spend all of my time exploring if Keeping I could. Being told stools, guy collects stuff. I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that. Ooh. She knows more about me than I have. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Let me also. Much can be clear. Akia, prepare her. Hmm. Well, I think I'll come back for that sometime soon, I believe. I guess, I guess this does give us a sense of how far Houndsmead really is from Hogwarts. Hog Hogwarts? From Hogwarts, oh my god. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so... Fake. ...new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my home. Oh no! And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Fuck. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Oh, it, it has. It has since book one. Rebellion. There are all yeah, kinds of places for us to go, guys. Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Mm. Hello, Mr. Mr. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle always. Revelio. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will Probably. say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors happy. being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Oh, okay, so Hogsmeade is really not that far. I mean, it makes sense. They gotta make sure it's accessible to students. Accio. A little bit down the ways. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Hmm. Speaking of, which is, what is it that I need, huh? I obviously need a wand. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Sounds good. Enjoy mm. yourself. I will see you soon.
And it's all kind of just pretty close. Let's turn. Let's go. Let's go do that real quick. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, oh, it's not. It's, it's not, not the, the same. same. It's not the same all <laughs> Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> um, the wand really chooses the wizard, guys. Do something, not to worry. <laughs> no, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Mm. Let's give this one a try. I like the look of that. Goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. <laughs> How perplexing. Um, mm. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Love yes. magic, guys. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. So eager. Curious indeed. Mm. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Tell you the truth. Mm. That looks best. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh, 
intriguing. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Curious indeed. I'm satisfied. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, I love it. How did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds mm -hmm. wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I hope so. <laughs> Right then, next on the list. Kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Can I create of rum? It is not without complexity. I, I love rum. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. Mm, I look forward to that. To aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items mm. like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Really? But I should let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Yes, A potting please. table and a potion station. Yes? I yes. believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If Ow. you're interested, Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Rebellion. Let me back in. Oh, hilarious. Let me say. Ooh. 
Ooh. Hidden staircase. Rebellion. Yes, please. Get our supplies and then Oof. probably call it here guys you think no welcome to Jay Pippin's pushins pardon me sir oh thank goodness when I heard the bell I thought you were Miss Lawang not that she deigns to come here though I don't believe I've seen your face here before either it's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> how about, how side, about a, course, but an ailment for uh, uh, looking like a horse's how face? I I've Professor seen some people Lucy look like that. It's pretty recipes. scary. I'm new at Hogwarts. Horse's face sure, with the, just being an ass animal. in the face, too? Ugh. Set your things aside it's crazy. immediately. I the talking ass. Do anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art, potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make <laughs> no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's I your first time in, to. I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. Ooh. And I unveil new ones from time to time. <laughs> Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? I but absolutely now, won't. Let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes, please. What can I do for you today? Uh, can I get six cheeseburgers, a large fry... Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Um, or come back another time. If chocolate another chips if you got it. Roll buggies. One of those. Oh, actually, you know what? Hang on. What can I do for you today? Sold that. Sold that. Ooh. No. Let's go ahead and buy more of those. All right. One more spot. One more spot, guys. Magic Neep! We are the knights who say Neep! But we are Neep! I saw a book. Revelio. Akio! That's hurt for Clean. Well, hello there! Oh, I'm stuck on a fence. You didn't see that. I was not stuck on a fence. The seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. Dittany? I take it that's you then. 
Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not of course, I only have two more years. All is one big adventure. Well, bravo. <laughs> Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Knee. I'll call you Teabag instead. Out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. Nope. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. Do you have any My weed? Speciality is potions. You say you have plants. I want some weed. Me. But what say we get you a package of... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some, uh... Mary Jane. You're after something fresh. I'm after something fresh, all right. Let me Do tell you. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Matty. Nope. Hold on. Gear. I like the hat. Well appointed. <laughs> Field pages are wondrous things. Ooh, gotta check collections. things to look over guys this is gonna be a fun fun adventure I look forward to it all Rebellion. Level three lock, huh? Oh. Plenty of time to continue to play, but it is late. I will call it a day. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you all. Thank you for joining me on this game. Cannot wait to see you on the next one, which may be pretty soon. We will find out. Stay tuned. Till then, stay wicked, my friends.